Trish Rossthorne knows firsthand what happens when someone is put on an antipsychotic after her sister Linda was put on Respiridone nearly a decade ago. The drug is meant to treat mental health conditions like schizophrenia or bipolar disorder, but Linda's doctors use it to treat the symptoms of her dementia. So when she was on medication, she was very frightened. Um, she didn't really know what was going on. She lost the ability to speak. <laughs> she was walking 12 hours a day. Um, she couldn't eat properly. For years, these drugs have been used in nursing homes to treat residents, even if they don't have a diagnosis of psychosis. And that number is growing. In 2015, 22% of residents in Winnipeg care homes were on these drugs without a diagnosis. And as officials try to address that, the numbers decreased to 18% in 2018. But with the pandemic and staffing issues at nursing homes, that number has climbed each year, and now 23% of residents are on the drugs without a diagnosis. Trish's sister was put in Mr. Cordia Place in 2013, and immediately, Trish made it her goal to get her sister off the drug. And I said, this is absolutely ridiculous. So when I took videos of the mouth problems, her walking, uh, and all the other issues that she had, the physician there at Mr. Cordia Place agreed that we could try her off of it, and she never went back on them. And her sister came back to her old self. She had times when she knew who I was, who, who the family were, and she could have moments of enjoyment. Studies have shown that when senior patients are treated with antipsychotics, they can experience cardiovascular issues, infections, greater risk of falling, fractures, strokes, and even death. Experts say these risks need to be taken into consideration when prescribing the drugs to treat dementia or control behavior. If there isn't a clear reason for the person to be on it, then why are they on it? And what are the alternatives, especially when being on an antipsychotic medication you know, has additional risks like the increased risk of dying? The Winnipeg Regional Health Authority admits there is a problem when they see these numbers increasing. They say they review personal care home residents' medical charts every three months. And this summer, part of that review has been focused on reducing doses and deprescribing residents off of antipsychotics. Kristen Annable, CBC News, Winnipeg.